Good evening, everyone. Welcome, and thank you for joining us, taking time out of your busy day. My name is Cindy Novich, and I'm going to be sharing tonight about the power of powdered produce, um, plant produce, and um, my friend Shondalyn is going to be sharing about the power of growing with aeroponics. Um, so we're super excited that you're here, and I just want to say that today I did a hot yoga class. It was very inspiring, and I had time to take a deep breath and just relax. So I'd love everybody. I know you've had busy days. Just put your feet on the ground and kind of rest yourself there. Um, and let's all just take one deep breath. It may be the first deep breath you've taken today. So ready? Just let it out. And I will share my screen and we will get going here. Bear with me one second. Okay. Oops, is that looking a little funky, guys? It looks like two of them. It does. Hang on. I don't know what happened there. Bear with me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's try it again. So welcome, everyone. Um, we are here tonight to share with you the... Um, one simple change. There are some certain things you can do to just make a difference in your health. And we're going to um, have some fun sharing these ideas and would love your takeaways at the end. So I'm going to share some things that unfortunately are a little bit sad and depressing, but we're going to get to some really exciting and happy things towards the end. So just bear with us. So first of all, let's just talk about what's going on in our world. Sadly, we have a lot of unhealthy things happening. One in four people will die of heart disease. One in two women and one in three men will develop cancer. One in three will have diabetes by 2050. And already one in five children are obese. So Dr. Katz from Yale University made a statement, our children are more harmed by poor diet than by exposure to drugs, alcohol, and tobacco combined. So we want to make a difference. We have a lot of environmental toxins in our air, our water, in our food, and it's increasing. So, you know, what can we do to really shift that and pay attention to what's going on? You know, there's toxins in our skin products, our hair products, over-the-counter drugs, um, contaminants in the water. Our food quality, sadly, is decreasing. More than 50% of Americans eat processed food. Our ancestors used to eat two to three servings of nutrient-dense fruits and vegetables, and now it's a lot more than that. Um, there's a lot of preservatives, synthetics, GMOs, trans fats, artificial colors, all kinds of things happening in our food. And as a health coach, I like to recommend shopping on the perimeter of the grocery store aisles. So on the outside aisles is where you're going to find the fresh things. The inside is the packaged food, which really isn't even food. So try to stay away from those aisles. A lot of our produce even loses its key nutrients um, before you purchase it because it's shipped from far away. So what can we do to be healthier? We know we can exercise. Do something that you enjoy. Have fun with it. I love my yoga today. Um, sleep seven to eight hours. Hugely important for your body and your cells to improve and regenerate, for your brain to sleep, to get that rest. Um, so it's bright and active in the morning. Um, and your organs also get replenished at night. A huge thing is managing your sleep or your stress and your sleep, but managing that stress so that... Um, you know, you are not allowing the outside world to kind of come in and overtake your yourself so that you can get a disease. You want to be um, mindful of how stressed out you are. Drinking plenty of water. Um, the rule of thumb is half your body weight in ounces of water. Okay. And then using safer, cleaner products just in your home. And again, eating real food. So let's focus on fruits and veggies. Experts agree that the most, most disease are preventable with good nutrition. That's why I love the statement. The news isn't that fruits and veggies are good for you. It's that they are so good for you. They could actually save your life. So more and more research is being done on the power of um, whole food nutrition and plants. And so really pay attention to what you're buying and eating. 
Oxidative stress is something we all have. It just happens from breathing and living. And um, you want to try to reduce that oxidative stress. And the way to do that is with antioxidants. So uh, oxidative stress causes aging and disease. The good news is antioxidants help prevent that and protect the cells. So you find those antioxidants in fruits and vegetables. And you can see here with this apple, the right side of the apple is preserved with the lemon juice. That is um, really the antioxidant is keeping that from aging. So it's just a great example to show, you know, how you can help yourself by putting those fresh plants into your body. A lot of people have turned to multivitamins versus whole food. 70% of Americans are trying to fill those gaps with a multivitamin. Um, what it does, it has a very few isolated nutrients that scientists put into these vitamins thinking, you know, we're all the same. It's going to help us. But sadly, um, a lot of times you um, pee out most of it. So it's expensive urine and some of it can be stored in your body as a toxin. So a, a multivitamin will have a safety cap and a warning label. And there's a reason for that. You could overdose on that and it can be toxic. So um, versus an apple has tens of thousands of phytonutrients in it. So here you can see the label of the app of, of a vitamin with all these, you know, synthetics that are in it. And then these are the tiny little words of all, um, or actually not all of them, but a lot of the phytonutrients, we don't even know all of them that are found in apples and your body knows what to do with those phytonutrients. It gets absorbed. Your body is excited. The cells are replenished. So that phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away is really true. So, um, this is apple season. So go pick your apples. We need a minimum of seven to 13 servings of fruits and veggies a day. Again, this is where it's increased from where our ancestors were years ago. As a health coach, I recommend um, for adults, minimum of 10 to 13 servings and athletes need even more. Olympic athletes need up to 18 servings of fruits and veggies. The size of a uh, serving is the size of your fist. So that's a lot. You'd be eating a lot all day. And the reason is because it's the produce is picked before it's nutritionally dense. It's transported thousands of miles. We don't eat enough of the fruits and veggies and we don't get the variety or all the colors of the rainbow. Even if you're buying organic produce, um, say those green bananas there, they're picked when they're green. They are organically grown, but when they are put on the um, trucks for transport, that is not organically transported um, or shipped. So they can put tarps on it with chemicals to pre prevent it from um, ripening in the truck. So sadly, you're not totally getting that organic produce you thought you were. So just a little bit about myself. Um, I am a health coach and I like to say I'm a mom on a mission and I've partnered with this whole food um, nutrition company called Juice Plus, which are the plant powders. And I'm going to talk to you about the good news that comes with that. And um, my husband is on the call too, and he's a retired banker and he's now helping me share this with more people. But um, we were looking for answers. Our kids, um, this was nine years ago when we found the answer with the Juice Plus that um, our kids were super picky eaters. We were trying to figure out a way to get them to eat healthier, even though we were offering them healthy things, they were not really eating it. And we learned about Juice Plus. I was able to sponsor one of my children for free through our Healthy Starts program. And my son was able to wean off of ADHD meds. I was thrilled. I didn't love that he was on the meds, um, but we knew he was falling through the cracks in school. And this was a way to help him do this nutritionally without, um, without a medication. It also um, really has been profoundly helpful for my, our daughter who has anxiety and um, we opted not to put her on a medication that the doctors wanted to put her on in third grade. And she is now studying abroad in Italy and doing very well on her own, but Juice Plus is by her bedside table. It's helped my whole family with um, just um, workouts and keeping a healthy weight um, skin issues. Uh, a couple of the kids dealt with um, irregularity that got corrected right away. So, um, and then we stay healthy. We rarely go on sick and have sick visits. So it helps our immune system. 
So this is what I'm talking about with Juice Plus. It is 30 different fruits, vegetables, and berries that we consume every day in a capsule or chewable form. The produce is picked at the peak of ripeness. It's put into a um, capsule or chewable and it, the nutrition is um, intact because it's dehydrated without the sugar in the water. They remove that dehydrated at a low temperature to preserve that good nutrition. And then again, it's put into that capsule or chewable. And the orange bottle is the omegas. You get the full spectrum of omegas and we get that from plants versus fish. So if you could take a look at this, um, all the plants that are in the Juice Plus, I call it the trio, and see from here what you ate today. And how how did you do? Were you getting 10 to 13 servings of raw vine ripened fruits and veggies? I know I have a hard time getting all of that. So this is like hitting the easy button and helping me bridge that gap. And I love that everything that was put into this was put in by a naturopathic doctor who was healing very sick patients. And he even helped his dad who had cancer. But I don't like to say that this can cure anything, but we know good nutrition helps with everything. <clears throat> and on the plant-based omegas, it's the omega, omega fatty acids that support our um, brain, our heart, joints, skin, and eyes. They're hundred percent plant-based, pure and sustainable. It would take a lot of fish to create the omega-3s. We bypass the fish and get it, our omega-3 from their food, which is the algae or the algal oil. And then you're getting omega-3, 5, 6, 7, and 9. So you're getting that perfect blend of what you would need. These are cold pressed and vegan capsules. And then the five, six, seven, and nine omegas come from cold pressed seeds. So um, super great for ingesting, you would just swallow the capsule, but some of us will open a capsule and put it in with our night cream, rub it on our face. So we're getting it on the outside and the inside. Just a little tip that some of us like to do. And this is our macronutrition, our complete protein shakes. Um, again, 100% vegan, non-GMO, um, gluten and dairy free, really good for anyone. Even diabetics can have this. It's low glycemic, so very low um, uh, glycemic level that stabilizes your blood sugar and um, super healthy. I love having one of these usually for a meal replacement and chocolate is my favorite. My husband likes the vanilla. And our newest um, product is called Perform. It's an all-in-one pro performance shake and it's got double the protein. So 25 grams of protein helps build and repair muscles and bone health. Um, the B vitamins are great for mental performance and energy production, beet and beetroot and tart cherry in your recovery and hundred percent vitamin D we're all lacking vitamin D. So this is a great way to get that. And then it's in a berry flavored. I'm so proud to let you guys know that the U S um, performance center for the Olympics are in Charlotte, North Carolina, and they now get the juice plus products. So it's very exciting. Zane Groth and winter of Benecki um, are athletes that go around talking about the excellent nutrition they get from juice plus. So you can be reassured if you're taking these products, if an Olympic athlete can take it, it's clean and it's really healthy for anyone. Another thing that stands out is we are the re most researched product in the world. And there are thousands of doctors that share this in their practices. Um, it helps with cardiovascular um, health, lung, skin, um, gums, immune support, like I was mentioning, um, and, you know, cholesterol levels. So uh, the doctor at the bottom of this page, um, Dr. Du Bois, he was one of our favorites. He did pass away now, but he had such a strong presence and was ahead of his time. And he shared that there is nothing else available any place in the world with or without a prescription that has been clinically proven to do what Juice Plus has been proven to do. So it's such a strong statement and it means a lot. Um, I think if you can just kind of break it down in its simplistic form. Then another favorite thing is that Juice Plus is very generous. The company gives every child starting at the age of four and actually up through the age of 25, they just changed this, can get Juice Plus for free with a sponsoring adult. So my husband and I were able to sponsor our boys and my mom sponsored um, 
my daughter, our daughter on Juice Plus for free. And they get it now free for up all, they can get it for 21 years if they start at the age of four up to 25. These are the things that are happening with kids that they're noticing, missing less school, fewer medications, drinking more water, less doctor visits, and consuming less fast foods and eating more fruits and veggies. And all of these things really happened with our kids. Um, I'm proud to say that they all started craving more fruits and veggies, as did my husband and I. So it stands out. Again, it's food. It's not a multivitamin. It has a food label made with non-GMO, vegan, kosher, dairy, and gluten-free, NSF certified. That means that it's third-party tested to make sure that what is on the label is in it, nothing more, nothing less, and there are no contaminants. And then again, it's the most researched product in the world. And now I would just have a couple of slides to share and then turn it over to Shondalyn about the Tower Garden. It's our future of growing. It's very exciting that you can grow indoors or out. I've been growing mine for nine years. Um, takes up a lot less space, um, water. It yields produce so quickly and um, it's safe and nutritious. So um, we'll talk more about that. And I just want to share this short video so you can see how it works. Tower Garden's state-of-the-art aeroponic vertical garden system uses both water and air to produce more colorful, better tasting, and incredibly nutritious fruits, vegetables, and herbs. Tower Garden has a 20-gallon reservoir at its base that stores the Tower Tonic nutrient solution. Developed by experts in plant and human nutrition, Tower Tonic Mineral Blend enables superior plant growth and better nutrition from your Tower Garden produce. The process begins once the seedlings have been placed in your Tower Garden. Here they will be nourished with Tower Tonic Nutrient Solution. Inside the reservoir is a small, low wattage submersible pump. The pump pushes the nutrient solution up through the tower to the top. From there, the nutrient solution drips through the central tower using a special device that evenly cascades the solution over the exposed plant roots. On the journey down the tower, the nutrient solution feeds the roots and becomes highly oxygenated as it cascades gently down the reservoir. This process is continuous, providing fresh oxygen, water, and nutrients to the roots of the plants. This patented aeroponic process enables food crops to grow faster than they would in soil, so they can be harvested more often. And it makes Tower Garden the healthier, easier, smarter way to grow your produce. Okay, so now you see how that works. And I'm gonna stop my share and allow Shondalyn, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you so much, Shondalyn. And you can share your screen and educate us on the tower. Okay. In my way, this little bar always pops oh. down. <laughs> I can't get to my control. Okay, my name is Shondalyn Anderson, and I have been um, growing with the Tower Garden for about three years now, and I am an avid gardener. We're going to talk about my story, about how the Tower Garden works, um, what and where you can grow your Tower Garden, and how the Tower Garden is being used in different areas, and the benefits of growing in a Tower Garden, and then finally, the cost. So I've been a traditional gardener for over 30 years. These are my raised beds in my backyard. And every summer we spend all of this time making sure the soil is the way it needs to be. And, and we get all the, the plants planted. Well, the summer that I got the tower garden, we had just put all this in. And my husband, I thought it'd be better to ask for forgiveness than permission. I went ahead and I ordered one because I wanted to try it. And he pulled into the driveway about the same time that the UPS guy was dropping off all the boxes. And it's not like sneaking in a box of shoes. <laughs> I have these huge boxes that are being dropped off on my front porch. And so we get it all in the house and I put it together and he kept asking me, what are you going to do with that? And I said, I'm going to grow vegetables in it on the back deck. And I want to see how this grows compared to growing in the ground. 
it was quite an interesting thing. Growing vertically with the aeroponic growing system is probably one of the easiest types of gardening I've ever done. Um, you can grow your own produce without the time and the space and the commitment of a traditional garden. Um, you can grow a wide variety of produce, um, both inside as well as outside. And growing in the tower garden takes a, a, about a, a three foot circumference. Um, it grows 30 times more, or 30% more, three times faster, and with 98% less water. And we're going to skip over this one. So this was my first tower garden, and this was outside the very first summer. And I was amazed. I'm telling you, I kept going out every day. I was looking at it, just amazed at how quickly things were growing. And it was so surprising to me that it was out producing what was happening in the ground. We happened to have a lot of rain that season. And so a lot of things were struggling because they were getting way too much water. Um, but I let that tower garden go all the way into November. And it was still, I was still picking produce off of it in November. And so I decided I, I don't want to pull it down yet. I'm going to get another one and I'll start that one inside and continue to let the cool weather crops grow outside. So that's what I did. And then this is what happened on the inside once both tower gardens were inside. I was still able to grow peppers and tomatoes and Swiss chard and herbs and all kinds of lettuces and stuff. And this was just downstairs in my basement. I didn't do anything special. It was just amazing. And it's amazing how great it tastes. There are two different kinds of models. You've got the tower garden home, which is... Um, a smaller version. Um, I call it the sexy version because it's got all those curves on it, but it has a 13 gallon um, reservoir at the base of it and it holds 32 plants. So you've got eight, um, you've got um, 16 full size ports and then you've got the microgreen ports up at the top. And then the Terra Garden Flex, um, I like to say it's flexible. I like this one a lot because it's got this ledge on it. Um, but it also holds 20 gallons um, of water in that bottom reservoir, and it has 20 growing ports. What I like about the, the Flex is if you travel and you're going out of town, you can be gone a week um, and not have to worry about somebody coming to fill it. If you have the smaller one, you're going to just have to be mindful of how big your plants are and how much water they're taking um, in um, if you're going to leave it. I get a lot of questions about the lights growing inside. Um, the lights use um, very little energy. Um, I think when I first started growing with um, my tower garden inside, I think my utility bill changed about four dollars a month, something like that. So it wasn't it wasn't significant. And even though the lights are really bright, it's only pulling 125 watts of power. Um, they're low heat, so. Um, you can put the bulbs really close to your plants and that helps to produce higher yields. Um, it is designed to have um, those lights on the top if you were growing inside. Now, I have a sunroom that my inside tower garden is sitting in right now and it gets lots of natural light. And I have people say, well, if it's, if it's getting light all day long in a really well lit room, do I have to have the lights? When you think about our windows that are in our homes, they've got UV filters in them that are blocking out the harmful UV rays to us, but then they're also blocking out what those plants would have naturally if they were sitting outside. And so you want to make sure that they have those full spectrum lights sitting on the top. Um, the tower garden makes growing much easier. They're easy to install. They're easy to maintain. They're less climate sensitive. Um, and they grow three times faster than the plants grow in soil. There's no digging. There's no weeding. It, I, I like that there's no dirt. So my fingernails always look clean. It's it's really nice. If you've got a manicure, you can have nice nails all the time because you're not really doing what you would do in a traditional garden. Growing in the tower garden is a lot healthier. Um, it's produce that's picked ripe. I mean, literally every day I go to a tower garden and currently I have five of them. So they're all going crazy. I would have loved to have done this outside with the, the outside tower gardens, but it's been raining here a lot. Um, and anyway, 
but you can go to those tower gardens. You can pick that produce just before you're ready to put it on the plate. And lots of times on the inside tower garden, because I'm not putting anything on it at all, I will just chop it up and put it on the plate. I don't even wash it. It's truly tower to table. Um, it does taste different um, because it's vine ripened. It's at the peak of nutrition. It's nutrient dense. Um, and it tastes different than what you would even get in the grocery store. My daughter's a vegetarian and she could not wait to have a salad off the tower garden when she came to visit. And, and we sat down and started eating and she says, this does not even taste like the, sto the store bought lettuce that I get in the store. It tastes very different, even than, than organic produce. Um, there are tower gardens that are popping up everywhere. They're using them in schools with curriculum, STEM curriculum for uh, math and science. Um, there are tower garden farms that are being um, established in deserts um, that are, you know, helping to provide uh, fruit, food for um, people in areas where it's really difficult to grow. Um, businesses are using them um, to, to, for their farm to, to table menus. When you think about, um, I don't know if any of you have been in the Chicago O'Hare um, airport, but they have a tower garden farm right in the middle of that airport. And it's really cool to see all of the produce growing on those. And those tower gardens actually supply the restaurants with a lot of the produce that's happening, uh, that's growing on those tower gardens. So it's really a neat um, thing to see. The benefits of growing in a tower garden for your children um, and family, it provides a means of educating children about health and nutrition. Um, there's increased academic performance um, from children who are um, learning how to grow on a tower garden because it's it's piqued their interest. They're, you know, they're attentive and they're really excited about their plants that they're going to nurture and grow. They really form a, a real connection with nature. And it teaches them personal responsibility. You know, they've got to make sure that their plant is is planted correctly in the rock bowl. And they have to just make sure that they're, you know, pruning that plant the way the plant needs to be pruned as it's growing. But it also boosts their confidence and pride. Now, you don't have to have, a, have to be a kid to have confidence and pride. Every day when I go out and I pick that produce off of the tower gardens and I cook it for my family or I'm giving it to my neighbors, I have such satisfaction that I grew this myself and I know where it came from. I know that there are no chemicals on it. I know that it's the best produce that you can get. And I grew it myself. So there's, there's a lot of confidence and pride that goes into that. Um, Tower Gardens is a great way for families to bond. Um, kids enjoy learning. Kids eat more of what they grow and that's a proven thing. And you don't need a green thumb. Um, I have lots of people who say, I can't even grow a house plant. I kill everything that I touch. You don't have to do a whole lot with this. You have to make sure that you've got water in that bottom reservoir, that your minerals are in there. And within just a few week, few short weeks, your plants start growing and you're picking off of them. Now, here's a study that was done um, by a tower garden farm in Atlanta. Um, I went ahead and I updated that information by going to all of the um, local grocery stores here in our area. And I, I took um, organic, organic produce and I just priced it out to see how that would compare um, with, you know, what you grow in the tower garden during, you know, during the growing season. And for instance, a bunch of Swiss chard in the store, organic Swiss chard is like five or six stocks and it's two dollars and 99 cents for a bunch of swiss chard now i've had a swiss chard plant in my tower garden for six months easy and the leaves sometimes are so big they cover my entire face so i can pick up that leaf and go like this and you can't even see any of my face that's how big the leaf has gotten um but you know if you leave it in the tower garden instead of you know for that one plant you can get 26 bunches of what you would have to buy in the grocery store. So that's a cost savings of $78. When, when I go to the grocery store, I'm not even shopping in the produce section anymore. I don't even go over there unless it's something that I need 
like a big squash or something like that. But I very rarely go in that that part of the grocery store unless I'm getting fruit or something that I can't grow in my tower garden. But it pays for itself in about six months. It's designed to work and last and fresh becomes affordable as well as convenient. Now the cost of the tower garden varies. So the tower garden home model with lights, if you're gonna grow inside, um, breaks down to $2.80 a day. And I spend more than that on a Starbucks cup of coffee. I think my Starbucks coffee is almost $6. So when you, you start thinking about all of the produce that you can get off of a tower garden over the course of, you know, weeks, it really does start to become economical. Um, you figure it even at $18.21 a week, when you go to the grocery store, if you factored that into your budget, if you were to go into the grocery store and just get a couple of items that were organic items, you'd be at that $18.21 easy. So it just, you know, it depends on the model that you like, but each one um, has um, different features that, that are um, available. And you would just need to get with the person that invited you um, to go over the pricing for for um, that tower garden. Okay, thank you, Shondala. That was amazing. I loved it. I love your presentation and how much um, knowledge you have with it. So um, just to kind of recap for everybody, I, I, you went over the pricing, Shondalyn, on the tower. I didn't go over that on the Juice Plus, but the fruit, veggie, berry, and omegas are $3.50 a day. So when you, Shondalyn was talking about her Juice Plus, or I mean her Starbucks, it's very expensive, right? But you can flood your body with all those plants with the Juice Plus or the Tower Garden plants. So just know that it's affordable. If you are somebody that, um, you know, learned a lot and you're excited with what you learned um, and you want more information or how to get started, please get with the person that invited you. And if you're thinking of other people and you're like, wow, everyone should know about this. We are always looking for more people to join our mission and have fun with us sharing the information. So um, we would love to have you um you know, be on our team and and work with us and and get the message out there. So thank you all again. I'm going to stop my share and then we will do a little raffle drawing or not the share, but stop the recording. Hang on a minute.